a little bit faster, start double pumping those observers out uh, in the early going in certain matchups. But we're going to start out here with a TDZ getting right underway with Ruff up against uh, Caliber here. And Caliber, I guess, is a guy who's been bouncing around between races, but finally picked uh, Zerg after the recent changes. And I guess he cites uh, OP Queens as the reason he finally decided on Zerg. But we're going to start things off on MLG Shakuras Plateau with a TVZ. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Terran versus Zerg. Like, you know, you said Caliber chose Zerg because of OP Queens. And it's it's not that Queens are too strong in the mid game or the early game and fending off those Hellions. It's the fact that you don't really have to invest in heavy roaches any longer in order to fend off those Hellions. And if you have more queens in the early game, that means you'll have more queens in the mid game, which allows you to do more transfusions, have more creep tumors. And that overall is it's really is really just catching a lot of players off guard. They move out at the 12 minute mark. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's creep halfway across the map already. But let's go ahead and take a look at the game. We see Caliber Light spawning as the blue Zerg on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, VVV's Rough spawning as the red Terran player on the top right hand side of the map. Yeah, I think like you said, a lot of players were already using quite a few queens. We saw the style of getting four queens out very early for uh, injects as well just, as just crazy creep spread. But I think the range, uh, the melee range, if you want to call it, or the ground range definitely helps against Hellions. Instead of Hellions being able to kite queens pretty easily and uh, poke them down and almost focus down queens off creep, now the queens with that little bit more range definitely able to fend off Hellions uh, a bit better. So Hellions is basically the opening that we see in almost every single TBZ. So I'm glad Blizzard made a little bit of a tweak. Maybe we'll see some more creativity coming out from Terrans. Yeah, and talking about creativity from Terrans, let's take a look at Ruff. And Ruff already doing a proxy wax here in a very, very nice location to make sure that it's not revealed by that Zelnaga Tower. Unfortunately, the, the barracks is in the incorrect location. It is not going to be able to really train up that many Marines, but it is in a, in a weird location in that it's not going to get scouted. But the drone from Caliber are going to take a look around see that there is no barracks, see that there is no no gas being taken, and then if there an, if there is an upgrade to an orbital command, he has to know that something is up and early aggression will be coming in. Caliber went up to 16 drones before he made his, uh, his hatchery, and then he went up to, uh, I, I believe he stayed on 15 drones before he made that spawning pool. So pool coming out maybe a little bit later than uh, usual, and we see already the first Marine about to finish for Rough. And I really like this play with this proxy, especially against a player who just sort of settled into this race. We see a lot of times players, when they first play uh, as a new race, they like getting into big macro games, but they're not as familiar with how to defend the different cheeses in the matchup. So Ruff throwing something a little bit uh, unordinary here against Caliber, and we'll see how he reacts. Yep, Caliber needs to wait of, of about 15 seconds, and that's perhaps one of the biggest things in learning how to play a race is how to handle that early aggression, that early pressure that Ruff is going to try to apply. A lot of drones being pulled, and this is already dealing economic damage as the Marines are now trying to engage. This is not looking good for the Marines. The drones are just going to be able to attack them, but it is pulling a lot of those drones from mining. If you take a look at the income tab, it is 400 versus 800, so a lot of damage is being done without even taking down that many drones over only two drones taken out, 17 SCVs versus 16 drones, but in come the Queens. Yeah, Ruff a little bit clunky there with his uh, his micro and just his timing, waiting a little bit uh, too long. And we see he's trying to place down that, uh, that bunker. I believe that's a strategy he tried to use before on this map, but he was not able to pull it off. And now Caliber has out these lings with just one Marine. He's not going to be able to scoot and shoot his way to victory here and now these lings gonna find this rax which is already lifted off heading home and rough is going for the uh the quick early command center as well so he's gonna go into more of a macro game he, he lost a few early uh marines so we won't have any sort of map control caliber gonna wrestle that back and rough was able more importantly not to do any damage there so caliber is gonna be able to just macro up like a boss here a second command center underway for rough so now he's gonna further his cheese not only proxying but also going for some economic cheese as well all right, Economic Cheese just trying to get a very strong economy going. One Marine trying to hold off against a whole swarm of Zerglings. Very nice micro by Light to not lose a single Zergling so far. Just a whole bunch of low hit point Zerglings on the bottom portion of the ramp. Trading SC or trading Zergling damage for resources by forcing a repair there. 
a command center is completed we should see an upgrade to an orbital command and as you mentioned ruft is gonna have his third command center i believe light yes light is gonna be establishing up his third and fourth queen but he still has not established up his gas yet just taking double gas now so he is gonna be behind as this is gonna be follow up by double reactor perhaps even blue flame hellions yeah, Caliber going for four gas here, so he's probably going to be working off of a heavy tech of these just two bases. Could be going for some early mutas or perhaps even infestors. We do see that Ruff, wow, he's positioning uh, SCVs here to lift off in this uh, command center. He just built his third, so that's going to be very safe and also pretty much unscoutable here as Caliber is not going to be able to scout this northern position without sending an early overlord up there. And we'll see if he's able to do that and really, uh, you know, find this hidden base. He might assume that Ruff is just on these two bases. And if he thinks this is, that this is two base versus two base, if enough uh, time goes by, he's really going to be at a disadvantage economically. Yeah, not many Terran players utilize that load function, but we are going to see an Overlord coming in from Light and or Caliber just getting a little bit lucky, perhaps. And he's going to actually spot this out. Now, the key thing is going to be to see what exactly Light's and layer tech is going to be. Um, Mutalist would be the best because there's no way to really transfer Marines from the high ground to right. the low ground here. And and those Mutalists will be able to simply harass, especially if Ruff gets a lot of SCVs. But it looks like Ruff isn't training SCVs at this third base. He's just utilizing it for the additional gas right now and getting two SCVs on those minerals. Yeah, we see Ruff doesn't have much in the way of production at this point, just working on now his third factory. I guess by the 8.30 minute mark, that's not too bad in terms of production, but we does look like he is going for more of a mech play and now caliber does see that rough has this third so he's going to want to get his uh you know whatever his plan is here underway a little bit he's got lair about a third of the way done that's sort of a late lair for taking those four gas early he's going to have a ton of gas already banking almost 700 gas now spending a lot on early upgrades but he's just got a ton of gas in his lair a little bit behind where he'd want it to be we've got hellions coming in the front door they might do a ton of damage all right here come the hellions hellions are Five seconds away from getting that blue flame tech. Is it going to be enough? Trying to take down the drones. The drones are all lining up. This could be huge. Oh my goodness. Yes, we do have one round of drones. Two rounds of drones. And a whole bunch killed already. Already up to nine. Another oh seven there. And wow, a huge, huge play by Ruff. He is behind supply-wise. But 39 STVs compared to 28. Three bases to two. Heard as a Zerg player, that is so painful to watch. It just... Oh my gosh. You know what? I didn't, I didn't cringe at all. I, I was actually kind of cheering. <laughs> Caliber was a little bit late there with his roaches. They came out about, you know, 10, 15 seconds too late. He didn't have to pull the wall off with his, uh, his Evo chambers were behind his mineral line rather than walling off the front. So instead of using spine crawlers and Evo chambers to wall off, those Hellions were able to make it right in there. Even mistiming it a little bit was rough without the blue flame, but he did so much damage, 18 workers killed, and suddenly Ruff's got a huge economic advantage. Three bases to two and 45 SCVs to 29 drones. We do have Caliber is attacking here with his roaches, but just not a lot of SCVs here for Ruff. He's gonna be able to pick up this orbital command and he's going to lose quite a few SCV, or you know, about seven or eight SCVs, but that's not that much compared to how much damage he's done already to Caliber. Yeah, Ruff just going to lift off this orbital command, perhaps try to reestablish it in the center portion here. Hellions could try to do another bit of a run by, and you got to remember, Caliber is new to Zerg. If you take a look at his front ramp, all of these creep tumors are actually in really bad locations. He's not able to um, do that wall off as you mentioned as we may have another round of drones getting taken down here this could be really bad news attacking the spine crawler instead oh. and wow caliber definitely dodged a bullet with that one a little bit of miss micro there by rough you really have to make those shots count as especially once the roaches appear you sometimes only get two or three chances with each hellion so it doesn't take much to take down a ton of drones at that time you're right, Caliber definitely dodged a bullet. And Ruff is actually a little bit behind in supply here, but that's misleading because those roaches take up so much supply. Already 14 roaches on the field, so, uh, you know, about one third of Caliber's entire, uh, or one fourth of his entire army is just those roaches. And as the game goes on, as siege tech and siege tanks start coming out, the roaches become less and less effective. We'll see whether Ruff is actually able to get a third up and running. He's going to try to lift off this command center again to find a good spot, but it looks like right now he just does not have the army to really secure a third. 
Yeah, Ruff is in a, in a dangerous situation. He has siege tanks. He has stores. He's going to be able to deal with a heavy composition of roaches unless he engages on creep. So Caliber is establishing his own third. It's a little bit late for a Zerg um, to establish yeah. the third around the 13 minute mark. Normally, they want to do it around the 8 minute mark. And even that's considered late. So Caliber perhaps um, still getting situated or is still learning the ropes of Zerg. But he is going to be able to back away, save those roaches, as Ruff does have some siege tanks and some Thors. Um, Thors, perhaps the one unit that is the best against queens um, later on in the game, as that slow queen, what, that slow broodlord queen infester corruptor push has really become popular as of late. Yeah, in the late game, that's definitely what Zerg wants to sort of transition into. But sometimes it's hard to transition, especially if you don't go for uh, Spire Tech right away. We do see that the Infestation Pit is down. Pathogen Glands about halfway complete for Caliber. So he hasn't gone yet down that uh, that Spire route, and he's not anywhere close to getting his uh, his Hive either. So it's going to be several minutes before he could even possibly have Broodlords. And Broodlords, basically what you need against this uh, this very heavy, factory-heavy uh tech route that Ruff is going for, they're basically the only thing that can take on those Thors because they've got that extra armor and the Thors do a little bit of splash damage, but uh, Broodlord is really good against tanks, Hellions as well. Ruff has established his third, so he's got the economy rocking and rolling, but he's fallen behind a little bit in the Harvester count, 64 to 51. Okay, so Light trying to stay up ahead, 64 to 51. Light at some point needs to establish up his fourth. The Roach is just excited to be on creep, running around so quickly. I should be able to take down a lot of these Hellions as what are the Roaches going to do? The Roaches are now revealing themselves at the sensor tower. Siege tanks could get into position. One Marine going to simply walk in here and get taken down. But wanted to just get a little bit of scout as well. We are going to see a scatter sweep come in, also clear up some of these creep tumors. And this may be a battle versus East versus West as more Thors, four Thors now being trained at a time, all off of three bases. And we'll see if this mass Thor push does come in. Did did Ruff watch our 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 show match, perhaps? I'm not sure. He's doing some some silly cheese like you did to me, Crota. But uh, what the Zerg player wants to do here is sort of trade. You don't want to allow your Terran opponent to get up to 200-200 with tanks and Thors. That's very tough to deal with with a maxed out Zerg army. Instead, he might want to sacrifice some of those roaches, start picking off some, uh, you know, some Thors, maybe a tank or three here and there, do some economic damage while he works he works his way up to the uh, Hive tech and those Broodlords. So far, he does have the Hive, but again, he has not yet thrown down that Spire, so it's going to be several minutes before he could possibly have Broodlords. Ruff getting very close to maxed out, 184 out of 200, so he's going to be pushing out shortly here. We do have some drops coming in from Caliber. This is exactly what he needs to do. Take advantage of his mobility with these Roaches. Now having that drop tech, going to do a little bit of harassment in the main mineral line of Ruff. Going to force him to come back here and just buy more and more time to tech up as a Zerg player. Yeah, Roach is very, very cost effective when fighting up against Hellions, even Blue Flame Hellions. Supply Depots will get taken down. The Thors finally arrived to the party. The Roaches are all caught up on each other. Perhaps we could have a Burrow. And if um, Ruff isn't careful, he may think that he actually took them all down. No, he is going to take them all down. But it looks like a massive Roach army Burrow move. But there is, oh, one missile turret in the mineral line there protecting. And all of those Roaches unable to really get past there at all. Yeah, I do like Caliber, you know, the triple prong attack there. He was able to take down 24 workers, and that's pretty big, especially since Ruff had been cutting workers earlier. We said that he was about 10, 15 behind. Now he's almost 20, 23 behind. So he's not going to be able to continue to sustain this uh, this heavy mech play after that first big battle. Uh, typically, a Terran player who does have a good economy is able to rebuild, but it's going to be difficult for Ruff to do that. Caliber is maxed out at this point, and he's banking uh, minerals and gas as well, so he will be able to trade. Now we've got another drop coming in here, and he's going to drop right on top of these Thors. That's going to allow them to bypass this tank in siege mode, though the Thors might be able to focus down some of these overlords, as now Ruff in a very dangerous uh, position here. He's got, I believe, 14 Thors on the field. That's a ton of Thors, Greta. That is a ton of Thors, but the the Overlords actually move faster or the same speed as those units, and now we're going to try to drop up straight up into the main base here. This could be huge. Roach is now in the main. Those Thors are going to have to do go for a bit of a base trade. They cannot get back in their base at all, as the Roaches are now going to cut the production of Ruff. Ruff lifting off all of his buildings. 
gonna be able to save them as we now have this massive attack at the third. Yeah, we've got Corruptors coming up, but no Greater Spire yet uh, for Caliber, so he's not gonna be able to do anything with the Corruptors yet. And even if he did have Broodlords, they're probably gonna be a little bit slow to take on all these Thors. It's gonna be a big old-fashioned, uh, or good old-fashioned base race here. But the Terran definitely has the advantage, not only the stronger army head-to-head, -head, but also buildings that can lift off. Calber doing his best to manage some of these uh, drones away from his mining bases to try to establish hatcheries elsewhere. He's got a huge bank, 2,600 minerals, a lot of gas as well. Uh, Ruff does not have as much as a, ba a bank, but now perhaps gonna be using these, uh, these corruptors to focus down some of Ruff's floating buildings. Ruff still looking very strong here. Lost the majority of his SCVs down to just 14, but again, he's got a massive army. Yeah, the key thing that I gotta ask now is if Ruff, can he hold on to his orbital commands? If this does turn into a base race, those SCVs need to be able to build buildings. If he can't spot the creep tumors, those that creep will never recede. And the drones can, you know, just build up a building right underneath all of these here. The Corruptors are going around. Um, I thought I saw them taking down a building earlier, but this is really strange. Caliber is at 194, Ruff is at 127, but I would almost give the advantage to Ruff. I would definitely give the advantage to Ruff. This many Thors, Kurta, you, you're going to have to send a maxed out army at it, and then you're going to have to send a second maxed out army at this many Thors, especially with the tech that he has right now with no Broodlords. He is just on roaches. He's going to lose so many roaches trying to... Uh you know, go head to head with this army. So all Ruff really has to do is lift off his buildings here, send that army around and just kill everything that Caliber has. So unless Caliber can get in a great position, pick off some of these units, not take a lot of damage himself, I think he's definitely uh, at a huge disadvantage here. All right, what really, oh, oh, this is huge, Burrow play. With the, all right. of the orbital commands are actually floating, so he can't scanner sweep and um, all too effectively. And the roaches with tunneling claws can actually regenerate their hit points fairly quickly. Nope. Finally, backing away there, a scanner sweep does reveal them, as there I believe was one landed orbital command. But this is a huge, got, huge issue. That orbital got taken down. It got focused down when it uh, it used that scan, and I don't think Ruff really took advantage of that scan. He didn't uh, get all the. Uh, roaches which are in that southern main of Caliber. Ruff's still just going to go around and just kill all the buildings of Caliber so perhaps he is, will still take this one. Now it looks like Caliber will Oh, Neuroparasite! Neuroparasite taking down so many of these stores here. They're going to be able to focus down. Roaches are going to be able to just snipe down all of these stores here and Ruff is now in trouble losing three quick Thors without wow. dealing any damage. Neural Parasite could be the great equalizer in this one as you're able to steal those doors and take them down quite quickly. But now it looks like Ruff going to be uh, pulling back a little bit. Does he have any any SCVs? He could repair some of these stores if the SCVs could get to them. But instead, he's going to try to break out of this little patch here uh, or this base and not take too much damage, but still a lot of energy on these infestors. Enough for it looks like three more neural parasites. Uh, and there's queens as well to do healing. So it's going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe showdown. All right, here we go once again. The Thors, the neural parasite is taking control. What is happening here? Roaches, infested Terrans also coming in as well oh, two neural wow. parasites and it looks like ruff is gonna gg wow neural parasite